Alright, so, this morning, Marvel Studios' new trailer came out for Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings, so I thought a good segment on the show would be reacting to the trailer and then having a bit of dis a discussion about it. So, um, David, do you want to hit play on this on this trailer? I'm really excited about this one. Here we go. I don't know a lot about Shang-Chi, if I'm being honest. So this is all sort of new. I know he's a martial artist. I gave you ten years to live your life. And where did that get you? dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you son it's time for you to take your place by my side that's not going to happen Oh, dude, I love how this is filmed, man. These fight scenes. I don't know what's up with the horses, though. That's a bit weird. Dude, that looks really cool. Yeah, dude. It's like they're tackling, uh, they're tackling kung fu. Yeah, well, I mean, the, I, I don't know much about Shang Chi other than yeah, you say um, martial artist. Mm. So that trailer gives a nice bit of backstory um, to, you know, being obviously raised and trained a certain way, and then what is his dad saying? I, gave you, I assume it's his dad or his mentor at least. Is he going to join the Avengers? Ten. Uh, I mean, probably in the future. Mm -hmm. I assume that's what they said. Oh, I mean, it's hard to know where they're going because they're really setting up a lot of new things and a lot of new characters um, in this new phase. Mm -hmm. So if they're going for a big team-up movie of Avengers like they have traditionally, then yeah. But um, they might be doing something different. It's hard to say what, the, what the plan is for the, for the coming together in the end and what the overarching narrative is. We haven't really... It hasn't really been revealed. We're sort of dealing with a fallout with our previous characters like, um, you know... Scarlet Witch and Falcon and Winter Soldier and stuff. We're sort of dealing with the fallout of the last generation, those Avengers and Endgame and everything. Whereas, and we're also at the same time starting up these new characters like Shang Chi, um, the Eternals and things like that. So there's a lot to come, and I don't think it's going to be quite clear of the big mass direction. The same way you knew at the end of Avengers, Thanos was going to be the big bad at the end of this sort of era of Marvel, mm. and the Infinity War Endgame was going to happen. You knew that was like the culmination of the whole bunch of movies. It's not clear right now what the next chapter's about. So this is just sort of setting up a lot of characters and then, you know, in time sort of revealing it, uh, revealing what's next and what that overarching thread is, which I think might become clear whether it be in like Spider-Man 3 at the end of the year or or perhaps maybe um, some sort of other team-up movie, your Thor 4s or... Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they're going to separate, though, the sort of space segments of the MCU to the more Earth-grounded ones, and there'll be, like, multiple overarching stories going on at once, maybe, like, two at the same time. Like, the, there'll be the space shit with the Guardians, with Thor, with Captain Marvel, with um, Eternals, and then you'll have, like, your Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Shang-Chi, Falcon Winter Soldier... Um, Hawkeye, all that sort of stuff going on down on Earth and Spider-Man and stuff. So I feel like there'll be two different things going on. But it's cool to see a bit of backstory to this character and then he seems like... Well, I mean, he has an American accent. Was that... Did you, did you hear that as well? Um, 
I didn't actually. Uh, Does he? I thought it sounded like American. Hmm. Um, but he, he was obviously let to like trained a certain way to be a fucking incredible martial artist and then given what 10 years to live his life as in just be a normal person and now it's like obviously this threat come back together this is the mandarin is supposed to be the main villain of this who was the main villain of iron man 3 but they weren't actually the real mandarin they just used the name mandarin this is like the real comic book mandarin that's right in this he so. has the rings and shit yeah so that's um what the main villain shang chi is so i wonder whether this is one of those movies that's just purely standalone and it'll be just sort of introducing some new th- some new abilities and things we haven't seen before, the same way we saw in WandaVision with witchcraft and we saw in Doctor Strange with magic. Um, so I'll be interested to see the way they talk about martial arts and, and what I maybe um, Shang-Chi can do and, and how his powers work. So I always like seeing how they delve into new um, powers. But what I really liked about that trailer was how they film, because the most important thing when you're doing any sort of martial arts movie is how they film fight scenes mm. and those look really well filmed and even traditional style of those traditional like martial arts movies the way they do some of those shots those tracking shots were really cool and they flowed with the combat and fights really well just from that trial I really liked that a lot so um, the movie looks fucking really cool really cool I don't have it, you know, major. It's Marvel, so I love it. Like in terms of, I'm, I'm majorly invested, and I'm gonna see it. But I'm not super hyped. Like it's anything I know. I'm excited because it's something new, mm. um, and it looks interesting. It looks well made. Um, but outside of that, obviously, I don't know the character very well, so I'm not like invested in the story just yet. But it's something I know I'm gonna watch, um, and hopeful with every Marvel movie that it's gonna be a really fun time and, and um, give us a new character. I'm not expecting it to progress any overarching story or even introduce anything that major. I'm sure it'll have like. Um, some Marvel Cinematic Universe hints from the past in it because they have to sort of tie it in well but other than that um, it's going to stand on its own that's what I hope for it it comes out September so it's still a bit away but it'll be nice to see some new some new Marvel f- films in cinemas because obviously you got um, Black Widow in July but the thing is Black Widow's an old character who's now dead um in the storyline, so this is like set before Endgame anyway, so this will be the first sort of movie after Endgame, uh, so that'll be interesting. Are you excited for Black Widow? I am. I'm really excited for Black Widow. You've got Florence Pugh, who's playing Black Widow's younger sister, who's going to be the new Black Widow, mm-hmm. and that's what this movie's going to set up, so I really like, she's an amazing actress, so I'm really excited to see her, where she goes in the future of the MCU, so that's why I'm excited about Black Widow, and I love Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, such a great character, so it'll be nice just to see her um, again, for one last hurrah and then set up the future and see where um the next Black Widow um goes and what her character is going to be and whether she's a part of the Avengers or meets up with some other characters so it's interesting mm. yeah interesting to say the least but yeah I'm excited I'm excited